those at the boat ramp still unopened? We must be at a party like y'all. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a little hardcore dangling today. I'm a glutton for punishment. You never know what you're gonna get. It's usually the time of year where you get a big bass in the mix. And today's excursion is sponsored by Mystery Taco Box, my favorite sponsor out of the bunch. They have been with me a long time and I just can't say enough good things about those guys, but it is the holidays, Christmas time is right here. It's like right now, y'all. It is not too late. If you want to get somebody signed up or get yourself signed up for a mystery tackle box, go ahead and just use the code linked down below. That's Mondo to get your box for as low as five bucks. And just check out all the box options and see what they got going on for, their, uh, for the holiday sales right now. Most of you know the deal, but if you're new, just click the link down below. Go see everything that they've got, all the different kinds of boxes, the levels of boxes. They basically pick out baits that are great for the month and deliver those right to your doorstep, Fishmas in a box every month. And especially this month, because it is Christmas, y'all. So we're gonna see what we got in the box right here, and we're gonna give it a dangle. Uh, I've already taken a peek in there. We've got some finesse type lures. We've got uh, a jerk bait, which is always good this time of year. We've got wind, our water just isn't really clear, but. Let's take a look at the electronics to see what we can come up with. Our first stop of the day. We haven't even started fishing yet. Colton and Hunter out here doing a little father-son dangle. Tear it up, man. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a, have a good day. All right. They just gave me a little, little fishing report, a little intel. It's been hit or miss. I was actually getting a little crappie, a little crappie intel. And Colton said he actually, he's got some trees planted back there. So I'll have to, have to come back and do that another day. But if any of you guys ever see me on the lake, Come and say hi. You know, he shouted out, Swish Fishing Intel, uh, hooked him up with some baits, and I wish him all the best. I wish all you guys the best during these tough winter times. When I see y'all out on the water when it's cold, I know y'all are dedicated fishing freaks, so I always love to see that. Let's just take a gander inside of this pro unit right here. Okay, excuse the airplanes, because they're coming over. First of all, let's get to the sticker, because it's kind of tradition on this boat now. I visited Ketchco. About a month ago, I saw the sticker on somebody's computer. And I was like, whoa, I don't have that one. What's going on? This month's box is the Bastrodot. And it's literally a bass dressed up in a uh, NASA space suit. We have a 10,000 fish sawcraw. It's kind of like a little JDM style plastic. Uh, some really nicely packaged uh, craw style baits. Possibly put that on a you know half ounce juicy jig, black and blue. What? Booyah swimming jig, half ounce. Could possibly swim this around some docks. Throwback Lures Trail Blazer Bluegill Swim Bait. We have a special bait card in here telling us about the Guggen Baits Drag and Drop. I know a little something about that. Sunset Bug, so we got that. And literally attached to it, we have a 4 aught EWG hook that we could use on our craws. Didn't come attached, it was just something happened there. Wow, Metroplex fishing. Just big birds all the time. I, I wonder if the bass get used to that. Just the constant humming of a jet engine. One of my all time favorite cold water fishing baits, the Smithwick Rogue. Uh, and actually this color, two of my favorite colors ever are clown and um, gold and black back with a little orange belly on it. But uh, this one is actually a, a floater. So you could fish this, it dives down uh, and then it'll come back up, so you can fish it in really shallow. Um, this would be really ideal for uh, clear water, uh, if you had to fish this over grass. Uh, anyways, jerk baits are always great. Smithwood makes a really good one they have for a long time. And then we have another finesse bait in here. We have a Riot Baits Probe. It's got a little, little dangler on its tail, you know, to get that little extra movement. Slap our sticker on, then let's go probe the depths. Well, folks at home, it has started to rain, which I am not equipped to deal with, so may have to take a rain check, literally, on today's excursion, depending on how bad this gets. I'm just checking on some fish I'm looking at on the graph here, just to see if they're, they're active, what they're doing, what their temperature's like, and then I'm going to move closer to the docks, fish some of the baits, starting out using... Uh, it's blade bait, 10,000 fish blade bait. It's the Death Stalker. It's one of my favorite, favorite lures. I can't stress that enough for wintertime fishing um, in deep water. It just gets down there and hunts. 
water on the lens apologize this is a rough dangle here y'all i want to know what these arc angels are what are these i could just send this little probe out and get whammer jammed on a you know two pound slabber so far that hasn't happened yet <laughs> Rain check taken. We are still a little drizzly, but it's starting to clear up right now. I uh, checked the weather. It's supposed to start getting a little warmer at the end of the day. So instead of going out in the morning, I've looked at the forecast this time. And I'm going out in the afternoon. That's usually the warmest part of the day when the best bite is. Like the last couple hours of daylight when it's warmest. So we're going to go try to capitalize on that. And I'm going to a completely different way. You know, because of the rain, it's going to make the water a little bit more muddy. So I'm driving a little bit farther to go to some clear water, which I think is always helpful when it is cold. <laughs> We are back on another lake and we have got clear water so I feel a lot better right now. It, it is not warming up like I thought it was. I thought the weatherman said it was going to be like 60. I think he lied. Nevertheless, I came all this way. I will not be stopped. Let's go catch some fish of any kind. I don't care. Give me the white ones, the striped ones, the brown ones, the big green ones. Doesn't matter to me as long as they pull good. Well, y'all, we just ran into an old friend, old Roger. Me and Lunkers TV took fishing uh, last year, and he is fully into fishing now. He's all decked out with a kayak, and he's got you know, a bunch of gear. So always good to see a fishing freak just get after it. I'm putting on a little gold spoon right now simply because I've caught my biggest smallmouth uh, in Texas doing this technique that I'm about to do. I just uh, just made a few casts while I was talking to Roger and I had a bite using the, uh, the 10,000 fish death stalker, which is uh, an MTB bait that they usually throw that in there in the winter, but uh, it's just an unparalleled technique. These two things that I'm getting ready to do here, if this is what the fish want to do. I don't have the sun, uh, vert uh, not vertically jigging, but uh, casting a jigging spoon and a blade bait along these banks. Just kind of bouncing it down the depth change. So it's like a series of stair steps working its way out to, well, like a hundred feet. And right now I've got uh, some bait, some fish out here in 40. And I may back out a little farther and, and fish this thing, you know, in that 30 to 40 foot zone. Uh, but I just had a bite up there and probably like 20 so i'm gonna make a few casts with the jigging spoon a few casts with the the death oh gosh i just got hammered right there absolutely smoked they're just kind of reacting to it um bouncing right in front of their face Could be stripers for all I know. I just know they're big and they look hungry. Check the drag just in case we hook old hog jammer. Okay, there's my jig. I have some fish right around it right now. Come on, baby. Oh, go! Oh, oh, got smacked. Oh, I got smoked again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I got him. I got him. There he is. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at all of them. Look at all of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, baby, we found the stripies. Ooh oh, yeah. Oh, what a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Look what we just found. Holy moly. Oh, y'all, I am excited right now. Oh, there is this not every day you get to have fun with these guys. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh my, the mother load has been located. Look at them on the Omega imaging, there's so many. Holy cow. Come on, baby. 
Smack that spoon. Bright red signatures. Right in the mix. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Second one on. Well, they're playing tricks on me. I can see these fish right here. Literally. Oh, jeez. This fish right here, y'all, was that fish right there. There's my spoon. It came up, I jigged it, and he smoked it right there. These fish that are on the bottom, I think they're catfish. I think they're catfish that are chasing these things around and eating the scraps. That was just an insane catch. Because I haven't been able to catch these things on the bottom. So I'm, I'm thinking that they're catfish, and when I see these kind of like these hovering lines that I can jig it in front of them. They'll come up and look at it. They're not really too excited though. They seem to be scattered out now. Like I found, oh, I found a group. Oh, here's another, uh, dang, jig, my jig's tangled. That's probably the one I let go, honestly, right there. Okay, here's one. Here's one by himself. Here's one by himself right here. Close to the bottom. And I'm just waiting to see where one of these fish might come through above these. Ooh, that's a big fish. Gosh. That's probably, that's probably like a big catfish just hovering on the bottom. Doesn't want to do it. Doesn't want to play the games. All right, these are just, these are hard to catch y'all. I'm really having to work for these. I don't want to. It's fun, it's fun playing video games with them. But I'm in the middle very middle of a creek like at the mouth and they're just kind of roaming out here similar to the lake i saw the other day okay Let's see if we can find something a little tastier i keep getting teased by these striper i'm sitting out here in like 40 feet of water and i'm thrown to the bank using this blade bait like these striper just keep creeping in there'll be like groups of three to five of them on the graph and then I reel in and I drop down and they're already gone. It's like they just creep up there, they feed, and then they they move out. I kind of want to just stick to what I'm doing right here, throwing to the bank, hitting these little stair step areas for largemouth and smallmouth and spotted bass and just see what happens. I'm taking that blade bank, I'm throwing it as far as I can. I let it sink to the bottom. This is super important to watch your line. I've got a seven foot medium power rod. And as soon as I see my line go slack, I start reeling and I lift up on the rod tip. As soon as I see that line go limp, it gives me just enough time to lift that bait up and get it out of the rocks. I just don't want it getting caught in there. And I'm, I want it, the bait to pass by these fish that are suspended on the ledge or hanging on the bottom, whatever they're doing. I just want to get a reaction out of them. It goes by and they're like, oh, free shad. <laughs> Oh gosh, ooh! Got hammered on the drop, on the ledge. Ah. Dang, that's three bites I've missed on these ledges. Wintertime fishing, man. It sucks when you miss a bite. Got him, got him that time. It's gotta be a green one. Come on, baby. Head shakes, what are you doing to me? What do we got? Ooh, this is feeling like it might be a little heavy here. This could be a nice bass. Digging. Digging. Come on, baby. Oh gosh, it's a big, it's a nice striper inhaled it ah! working it down that ledge that was up in like 20 feet oh I've got light line I've got light line no 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 I need my lure back please ah. 
Goodness, that's a fun fight right there. Look at the belly on that sucker. And it's gone. That uh, the death stalker's just gone. Absolutely inhaled it. Gosh, y'all, what a cool way to fish this time of year and literally catch anything. I don't even care. Just to get the tug is nice. I know there's other things living down there, but it's, these are awesome to experience as well. If you've never caught a good striper, they're a great fight. They're also good eats. One good thing to note, if, if the striper are up there, that means the bait's up there too. So I, I always use white bass too as a good indicator of where I think the shad are gonna be. I know there's good populations of of shad if the if the white bass are there and they'll they'll intermingle. I couldn't tell you how many times I've caught a striped looking one next to a green one because they just they live on the same protein. Got another one. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's a white bass. Couldn't no, it's a small striper. I was about to say, can't go a day without catching one of those guys. Come on, baby. Be a good'un. What you doing? Are you a small stripey? You're a small stripey. We found the little stripies. Ah. Go get big, be a 40 pounder. Don't think we have to worry about the striper population in here. However, where are the brown fish? I want to smell a brown fish. I just got bumped. I know there's a four pound smallmouth cruising with these stripies, stealing their big old shad from them. The school. School is definitely going on down there. And just like that, they're, they're gone. Got him. Got one of them bottom dwellers. Oh, wow. Look at it. Oh, look at the size. The ones on the bottom are so small, they literally look like shad. Because that one is. Oh my, oh, did I just get one on the, on the pause there? Oh yes, yeah, we got one. It's another, another tiny on the blade. We switched up from the blade to the, wow, the nursery. I got the loons frolicking around me, so I know there's some shad. Sometimes it's just a matter of believing. This is the way I want to fish. This is the way that I, I like to fish. I use using my electronics in the winter time. I just got to get in there. I got to stay in there. Just work that circuit. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bumped again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh. As long as I'm getting bites, I am entertained. Come on. Oh, oh the backlash. Oh, got him. Come on, baby. Oh, you smoked it. You don't feel like the bass. You are the small stripies. Absolutely prolific. We don't have much time. I'm gonna go to one more spot. Get a lucky piece of jerky. I wanna give a shout out to uh, Wasatch Wagyu. Sent this to me. The best beef jerky I've ever put in my mouth. I don't think that's a surprise, it's Wagyu. I've never had it before and it is outstanding. Oh yeah, baby. Show me the money. 70 foot, 75 daggum feet. This is much steeper bank. Bait is still sinking. Got him, got him. Could this be for the last cast? What do we have right on the point? Oh my. It's another baby. Dead gummit. All right, I gotta make one more cast up there. 
on this little point. Those things are, they have spawned. Okay, last cast. I'm gonna pick up a jerk bait and just see. Because we do have some shad. Suspendos right there. Don't think these fish are coming off the bottom whatsoever. I mean, they're glued to the bottom. They're not coming up. Well, y'all, that is all she wrote for today's video. I have gone hard. Went out there and attacked two lakes. I was able to get on some stripers, found those. Honestly, makes me want to get the crispy collector. Come back up here, throw some jugs out. I need to install some electronics on there, but jig for the striped ones while going after the big blue cats as well. In the very spot I am sitting right now, I caught my biggest Texas smallmouth on one of the coldest days, wettest days I've ever experienced. This is back before I had like rain gear, I had a little aluminum boat, and I didn't really know what I was doing at all, and um, I caught a huge smallmouth right behind me. I'm gonna head back in y'all, and I wanna just Take a second to wish y'all a very Merry Christmas. Spend some quality time with your friends and family and loved ones. And I will see y'all on the next dangle. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer. See ya.